These cattle waste a lot of hay. Hello, I'm Daniel from Copperhead Road Homestead, and we have a small herd of Irish Dexter cattle. We have four females, one bull, and two steers. We had two bull calves born this year, and we banded both of them. We also have them in silvo pasture. We're trying to develop the silvo pasture. I've posted several videos about this in the past, and I've gotten a lot of comments about it that usually what people do is create silvo pasture out of regular pasture. So they take a hay field, or they take a field where cattle have been, and then they put trees trees in them. They don't often take wooded areas like as what is behind me, try to turn it into cow pasture. But I think it's also good to use what you have, and we have a lot of wooded area that we aren't using for anything other than this now. I might not have known that in advance as far as trying to turn hay fields or regular non-wooded cow pasture into silvo pasture, but I don't regret doing this because we're keeping all of the big trees and all the nice trees, all the trees that we can turn into lumber later or that can provide some great shade for the cattle, and and they have shade immediately. A lot of cattle really like to have shade. It gets really hot out in the non-wooded area. Some of this area has probably been overgrazed and we're trying to build it back up, trying to get some grasses and other things to grow in there as well. And the way that we're doing that is a method that Greg Judy uses of trying to put our hay in different locations every time. So I put it back here and they've spread it out and they're eating it, but they've spread it out. As they spread it out and leave their manure in it, then it's really creating this really rich environment and then when birds come and they uh, poop seeds that they've eaten from other things in addition to the seeds that are probably already in the hay it's going to create this uh, grassy area that won't be quite as nice as out in complete sun area uh, but it will create grass for the cattle and another good thing about doing it this way is that the cattle can get forage Irish Dexter were bred and raised uh, to forage on things that other animals wouldn't eat so much that other cattle wouldn't eat so Irish Dexter will eat some things that um, a lot of commercial cattle will not eat. So they're getting some stuff in here that they like to eat, some leaves and some other forage, but they are also getting as much hay as they want, uh, and I think that they have a good, healthy look about them. There was a time whenever I was trying to feed them, I wasn't giving them as much hay as they wanted. I wanted them to try to go and look and forage, but I'm not worrying about that much anymore because this is helping to create good pasture for them. It's costing us money in order to buy the hay, and we just bought the 21 bale for or $35 a bale that ends up being $735 and we're going to get some more hay before it's all said and done before winter as we're doing that ultimately we're hoping anyway uh, and maybe you know some more about this if you know about silvo pasture and can let us know down in the comments below I would love to hear those things uh, but as we're doing this we're getting to build this up it's adding that extra organic material in here it's creating a healthier pasture for them so if you look behind me, you can see some of the areas where we put it in the past. This directly behind me is one of the last places that we put it. But if you look a little bit further back, uh, you can see some very dark brown organic material there. That's another place that we put it. This is the trail that leads back to our gravel pit and back to the gate to paddock number one and two. And most of it right now seems to be going right beside it because there are still a lot of little trees in here uh, that need to be cleaned out. Uh, some of them are probably just going to die because the cattle keep eating the leaves off of them uh, and they're probably not going to come back. This is the property that we have and I love this property uh, but you use what you have. So we're trying to build this up and we're trying to use what we have for the livestock that we have and we have goats and we have cattle. I'm trying really hard to rotate them but I haven't actually rotated them much uh, here recently. I've just been putting the hay here in paddock number three. What I'll probably end up doing is before much longer I'll go ahead and move them back to paddock one. Paddock two is all the way back there and it's really hard for us to get back there with a tractor. It's a whole lot easier for us to get to paddock one and paddock three with a tractor uh, so and paddock three also has a whole lot of trees and limbs and stuff down that we cut last year because uh, we were cutting some of the trees to let more light in to create this pasture uh, right now we have paddock three and paddock two open uh, paddock one isn't uh, but uh, I'll probably end up uh, closing uh, that off and putting them in there pretty soon uh, so that they can go in there and they can forage and I can start building up the pasture in there as well. I planted some grass seed in there not too long ago, but it was some really old grass seed and I don't think anything has come of it. I'll probably end up planting that again. I'll probably come through here maybe next spring and plant some grass seed as well. Would it be best for me to wait until spring to plant that grass seed uh, or should I plant it earlier? There is still some forage available for them here in paddock three. Uh, if you look behind me, you see 
all of this green, but apparently they don't like that because when I don't give them hay, they're not eating this at all. They'll roam over back into paddock two and they won't eat this at all. It looks like there's a lot of hickory over here and I guess they don't like hickory leaves. Grandpa said that last year whenever he was cutting trees for them. But whenever you cut hickory, they that wasn't their favorite, that they wouldn't eat a lot of that if there was other things available for them. I think the thing that you have to remember whenever you're trying to do some of these things is that it takes time. I'd like it to happen immediately. I do appreciate the journey. I enjoy seeing little things happening and the growth on my homestead and on my farm. It's going to be a wonderful experience to get to see that all the way through and you get to see that as well. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love for you to do so. And if you like things like this, I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up button as well and keep coming back. You get to see those things and I'll get to see it as well. And that's going to give me a sense of pride and we're going to build this into something that's a pretty sustainable homestead. Right now it is not. Uh, right now we have to buy hay. We have to buy all sorts of feed. We have to do all sorts of things. We're working toward and we're aiming toward trying to uh, make this sustainable so we don't have to bring a whole lot of extra outside things in to make it work. So these are our Dexter cattle. Uh, this one over here is toast. His mama cinnamon beside and this one is cream. These were the bull calves that were born earlier this year. Toast over here and cream with his mom cookies right there. Uh, they're growing really well. They look fat and they look slick and all of them are looking pretty good if you ask me. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say. I've not done a whole lot of videos on the Dexter cattle recently because there's not a whole lot of update to them. There's not a whole lot of things going on. Besides giving them hay and making sure they have water, there's a little creek bed over here that has water in it that, uh, you know, stays, uh, keeps them pretty hydrated so I don't have to water them very much. Uh, besides doing that, uh, it's really no trouble at all for the cattle. Since I've been giving them hay, uh, they've been staying right up here next to the gate in paddock number three. If you have an interest that I haven't scratched in a while and you'd like to hear about something that we're doing, I would love to hear that down in the comments below. And if you have any comments or questions, I try to answer every single comment. Thanks. Thanks.